gas station or something. The gas. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. What the? Welcome to the mysterious world we live in, where the lines between the known and the unknown often blur. From alien encounters that make us question our place in the universe, to man-made explosions that leave us wondering what really happened behind closed doors. We're diving into the strange sounds echoing across the globe, the possible UFO sightings that defy explanation, and the discoveries that challenge everything we've been taught in history books. This is a journey to the unexplained, the unusual, and the downright bizarre. If you're as fascinated by these mysteries as we are, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below with your thoughts and tell a friend who loves a good mystery. We're just getting started, and there's so much more to uncover together. Guys, what is going on with this? So we have an Egyptian pharaoh and pyramid, and then we have the Grand Canyon. And I want you to see what I'm seeing. Take a look so you can understand the internet's newest conspiracy theory. The Grand Canyon being connected to ancient Egypt. It's really something to think about. I've seen the claims about a hidden city full of Egyptian artifacts found in the canyon back in 1909. And the similarities in hieroglyphics between Native American and Egyptian cultures. It's hard to just brush that off, and the idea that the U.S. government might be hiding ancient secrets. Honestly, it doesn't seem too far-fetched. History is full of things we don't fully understand, and who's to say there isn't more to this story? The past is more mysterious than we realize, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's some truth to it. And some people just don't believe that the Grand Canyon could just appear naturally that man had to be involved to create something so majestic. There's apparently a whole group of people that believe the U.S. government is hiding a whole lot of stuff in the Grand Canyon from us. Supposedly they're hiding evidence and artifacts and a whole ancient civilization and that our government doesn't want to open any of these mummy shells because they don't want us to be a cursed region. Commenters seem to suggest this explosion took place in Japan. Hopefully, no one was injured in the blast. No! No, baby! Oh, no! Are we dangerous here? Yeah, we're dangerous! Oh my god! Oh dear! Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming! It's crazy to see the magnitude and power of it. Something that would traumatize the mind for sure. That might be a gas station or something. The gas Whoa! Whoa! Oh! What the? Come on. Hurry up. What is that? I don't know. You got it on video? I am getting on video. If those are falling stars, then we have a lot of wishes. What is that? I don't know. It looks cool though. I thought it was an airplane at first, I'm like, wait, what is it?
when you see it on TikTok, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, it's on TikTok. But imagine for a second, if we had that technology. Lower then. I think it's poison. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, Bridge, it's cold. No, hold on. I'm going first. Oh, hold on, go first. I'm about to get a sit there. <laughs> you gotta get lower than that. You can hit me in blue. Uh-oh, let's try to catch something. Y'all ready to go back? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Nothing special. I just want to show you guys these micro micro machines that they are making which can take hold of single molecules, single cells. These incredibly tiny machines that can interact with single molecules and cells. We're talking about devices so small, around 10 micrometers, that they're just a bit larger than the cells themselves. To put it in perspective, that's about a third of the thickness of a human hair. But here's where it gets really interesting. These machines could have a huge impact, especially in medicine. Imagine them being used to find and neutralize cancer cells, for instance. The ability to target something so specific at such a microscopic level could revolutionize how we treat diseases. This tech could be a game changer and it's incredible to think about the possibilities. What do you think this could lead to? Yeah, again, no reason for it. Just saying, you know, just... Aliens, beings from another dimension. We've got an intriguing sighting out of Amarillo, Texas from July 19, 2024. A witness driving down the highway captured something falling from the sky. Now, you might think it's just space debris or some unidentified object, but here's the interesting part. The witness mentioned watching it for a while before it vanished. It didn't seem to hit the ground, which could mean it burned up and disintegrated. But what's really fascinating is that it got so low in our atmosphere that it was visible to the naked eye.
I can find it. There it goes. It's a government camera. Yep. Here, I'll do this. That way you know it's for real. It is for real. It is. Yeah. But you can't see. It's a, it's a drone. No, it ain't. It's a drone, bro. It's a government drone. It's taking pictures of us. It's sending it up the side. It's a cocoon. They're fixing to be an alien jump about her. Could this be a UFO? Or maybe just a balloon? Or could it be something more unsettling? A government drone capturing images and sending them who knows where? It's real, and it's happening right in front of us. It feels like they're watching for something, maybe even something not from this world. There's this sense that something bigger is on the horizon like an alien encounter, perhaps. With all the technology and surveillance out there, it's hard not to wonder what they're really keeping an eye on. What do you think is going on? This thing is getting more darker, boy. Look at this, man. That ship, that, yeah, that ship went inside of the sun, and yeah, it got darker. Boy, it's like a... It's like a whole pizza slice. <laughs> that is crazy. That pizza slice is bringing us peace. Peace on earth soon. That is amazing. What a time to be alive to be witnessing all of this, yo. What a time to be alive to be witnessing all of this. Ooh, y'all see that coming out of that cloud? Look at this thing coming out of the cloud. Y'all see that? You good. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs>